All right, guys, this is an album cover. And I'm Mr. Popo, and we're bringing you a rematch. This is Axel versus Vapor, and now we're actually in uh, almost the semifinal. Well, I guess it's more like a quarterfinal, um, but it just worked out where it's a double elimination tournament, and so Axel is going to be going against Vapor. Both of them now have one defeat, and so whoever loses this is going to be out of the tournament. Exactly. <clears throat> and, um, of course, Axel playing his standard Zerg, Zerg Vapor going Protoss. This, uh, the map is Monolith Ridge, and this is a map that we have not seen yet in this tournament. Both players, um, actually a lot of players in this tournament have been pretty indecisive on maps <laughs> and kind of kind of just left the map choice up to us, and we're like, well, let's pick a map we haven't seen yet. So this is what uh, happens when you can't pick a map. Yeah, and uh, I think this is uh, actually normally a, a 2v2 map. I've only seen it as a 2v2. I, I don't think I've ever seen it as 1v1, so uh, we just thought that, that uh, it would be interesting. So... Yeah, let's see Definitely. what they, they start doing here. Now, they did spawn uh, relatively close to each other, so that's interesting. Exactly. You've got you've got Axel here, um, up here in the top left. Another spawn is kind of here mid-left. And then, of course, you've got here the spawn you've got. This is actually the top right position, and the bottom right is diagonal to the top left. So, uh, like Popo was saying, they definitely are... Um, the closer, I think, of, of the other spawn position, spawn uh, oh, no. And Vapor choices. here is, is chrono-boosting, uh, no worker. Okay, there it goes. <laughs> he was chrono-boosting <laughs> for a while, and there was no worker queued up. Mm. Alright, and we do, uh, we do see Axel go ahead and send out a scout, and Vapor actually made this probe, and yeah, it looks like now he's sending out a scout. Yeah, so. and it looks like, uh, looks like Axel might get the correct one right off the bat. Now these yeah. trees are really interesting. Um, they they make for some some very interesting gameplay. I th I think um, I've hidden you know proxy barracks behind them before uh, in two v two that is, um, and I don't know. I I'm interested to see how that plays out. Yeah, definitely. Um, and these trees is you're talking about here in the middle of the map, close to right. the Zelnaga watchtowers. Right. Right. Yep. And, All right. Uh, and uh -huh. we do know that uh, Axel does like to steal gas. He's done it a <clears throat> time or two before, so. Well, look at these probes. They're doing the sideways thing. I don't know. I don't know if, if you're seeing the same thing, but uh, watch the probes chasing. Look at him. <laughs> yeah, he's actually. I mean, he's chasing uh, that that drone around. Although there with yeah, here goes for and the gas. There it goes. <laughs> but I mean, we're, and were you seeing the the probe do the the thing where he lays on his side when he's turning. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, and now it looks like Vapor is just going to get this the scout down. He's going to get it correctly. But something interesting you can, you can do, and actually I've done it a couple times in a, in a game, you can this, you can run this drone around until it gets 10, 5 HP, and then you can make an extractor, and uh -huh. basically he'll regenerate some of his health, and you can cancel uh -huh. the extractor and keep running around again. So nice. that's, that's a pretty smart move. So Vapor is going for two gateways, uh, which makes me think Zealot Rush is coming. Um, and, and he does have two gateways producing. Yeah. I'm, and, I'm sorry, uh, okay, two Axel's zealots. Finally, huh? I'm sorry, I said two two zealots producing. Oh, okay. I was just gonna say uh, Axel is finally using his spawning pool. He had a, a pool for a while there, but no no zerglings. But he's got four lings on the map now, so that's good. And he is. It looks like he Axel is supply blocked as well right now. So. <laughs> and uh, let's see, Cybercore going down for Vapor, and he's got what, two probes on gas. Exactly, and this <laughs> drone did cancel that that uh, extractor. However, when he canceled the extractor, it spawned the drone right between the two zealots, and that that drone just got taken out very quickly. Look, <laughs> Vapor's been supply blocked for a while now, and he's just now getting that pylon started. Uh, so that that definitely hurt him. It looks like he is going to go for an early zealot push. He's cranking out quite a few zealots. Um, although he did get that cyber core, so maybe some. Uh, some stalkers are on the some way. I'm not sure. Oh, and here are the lings. Here are the zerg. Now what? Now what? Vapor needs to do, and what you, we have not really seen a whole lot of players in this tournament do so far. Is he needs to have these zealots hold position right, right here <laughs> in in this in this opening, because otherwise these zealots are going to move out here, and Axel can actually kite them out of position, and then uh, just get up there in the base and do the run by that he has done successfully multiple times. Yeah, and that's actually what I thought he was maybe doing with that one Zergling. Was uh, oh, is he gonna? No, he can't load him into that Overlord. <laughs> no, no, not, not quite yet. yet. Oh, there's a stalker though. <laughs> yep, looks like he he's, he's chrono boosting, boosting both nothing <laughs> gateways, but he's got just one more stalker on the way. So okay, well, 
Let's look at the uh, the income tab. Uh, uh -oh. Vapor is is doing better. He's got 22 harvesters to Axel's 19. So while okay, and he is going for the robotics facility. Right, so I think yeah. he's probably going to crank out an observer. Um, Axel, I mean, sorry, Vapor has done that successfully in the past, and it's worked well for him. Sure, and uh, you see Chrono Boost is, is uh, going out there, and there go Templar Arc, or what is that? Uh, gosh, I was uh, forgetting that Twilight Council. Structure. Twilight Council, yeah. Twilight Council. <laughs> and along with two more Pylons, just to make sure he doesn't stay supply block for too long. Yeah, and uh, it looks like uh, we got some roaches on the way over there for the Zerg player, and he's uh, upgrading to a lair, which is just now morphing in. Exactly, and he uh, is at the same time going ahead and going to go ahead and build his second extractor. He needs to put a couple drones on that, but he does have one spine crawler, two spine crawlers up for defense. So he he definitely sees um, something that makes him a little bit uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So good good response there. And uh oh, four gate. Uh, two more gates going down, and it looks like he does have um, warp gate research. He just does not change those into warp gates yet, so uh, this could be a, a, a pretty effective push here. Um, hmm. And that's interesting, he's got, um, on this robotics facility, this this observer is going to come out and he's got the rally point, I think it, it looks like it's right over what, these I, Zerglings, so yeah, I think he's just going to camp that, that up. Zergling. I don't know if he can yeah. see it, or, uh, yeah. So, so he's just very good play. <laughs> and they're going down, that's <laughs> yeah. going to be close. Not even close. Just barely doing. Looks like 16 damage. No, yeah, 16 damage to a zealot, and that's it. Yeah. So this overlord getting popped. That's such a cool animation. <laughs> and now, okay, I guess he's just gonna retreat back. I feel like he could, uh, he could maybe push out a little bit, but I guess maybe he, he's worried about that run by, which uh, is probably warranted. Exactly, especially because, like like we did say earlier, this is the second time these players have met in this in this tournament, and he did get defeated due to the run by. So I think he's just gonna kind of play it safe at the, at this time, sending this observer into his his Axel's base, and just gonna see he, what he's gonna see when he gets over here are mass roach. Yeah, so, now Axel has this uh, this hydrogen. I'd like to see some hydras actually come out. Um, I guess he's kind of low on gas, um, but not not too bad. Exactly, and he does need to be spinning some of these minerals. So I, I would definitely like to see an expansion, or or some a lot more zerglings or something. Yeah. But he he is getting metabolic boost on the way. So along with three more overlords, he he wants to make sure he's not supply blocked for a while again. So they're very nice. Vapor going for an expansion. Yep. Uh, I think this is the earliest we've seen him go for an expansion. Yep, and the, and the Zerglings, Zerglings are, are trying to run by. At least they're going to get some scouting. Oh, he's got Blink. I didn't notice that. Right. Uh, me, me either. Um, but that Blink and those Stalkers just made short short work of wow. those those Zerglings. So this is pretty intense. He's got four Warp Gates and an expansion coming in. So uh, it, Vapor's looking like he's in pretty good shape. Um, yeah, I, he's... It, let's he's see, got, is, is Axel researching those, uh, those Tunneling Claws, I wonder? No. Um, no, he's not. Not even, let's see, is that, uh, that's building armor. <laughs> he doesn't have burrow researched either, so, huh. Well, he does, set, however, have seven hydralis on the way. Okay. But, well. so, so I feel like that's going to definitely improve his army. Um, but he needs to get an overseer in here and just, and kill, kill this observer. Yeah, I think, uh, I think Vapor's feeling pretty confident. He's got that observer in the base, and so he's just going to start parading around the map, um, popping these overlords. There's Blink, good job with that. Uh, I don't exactly. know if that was totally necessary, but okay, now, we got Hydras and Roaches out, so that'll be, uh, he needs to engage with both of them at the same time, though. Uh, he, I think he was going to try to surround from behind, but I feel like Blink pretty much just nullified um, trying to surround it, and these, yeah, these but this stalkers is good, are going to go got, down. Yeah, he's got this uh, exactly how he wants those. Roaches are taking the damage, which is pretty much what they're good at, and the Hydras were in the back just doing damage, and... Uh, so that was actually that was a, a very well won battle, and uh, maybe he'll go for this expansion. Exactly, he 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 did. He's he's definitely uh, Axel. I, I must missed it throwing him down, but he is going for an expansion. Yeah. So, although Vapor does have some some <laughs> troops here, if he had okay using Blink to get in these stalkers, but these stalkers are not going to be enough. No. So he's, oh, and here come the Lings. They're gonna they're gonna try and push in, I guess, and go for the mineral line. This could be big. Oh man. This could. <laughs> 
Wow, this could be oh, huge. Oh, the wing's gonna get in. Ah, no, don't they... attack them, run by. Oh, oh and Zealots, and it... good choice. Zealots just mopping these up, but they're not gonna be able to handle the roaches or the Hydras. No. I feel now, like Vapor's oh, in trouble. Oh, wow, and those two warp gates just lost power. Oh, this could be bad, this could be it. Uh, now, what's I feel like Vapor was very, very much in control, and and now, I don't, I don't know what happened, he just dropped the ball. <laughs> Gosh, Zerg is so imbalanced. <laughs> JK, but uh, or maybe they are imbalanced, but uh, so okay. Here yeah. and here come just a, a bunch of links uh, and some roaches. So this is looking pretty bad. I feel like he should try to snipe those two pylons, and then that'll pretty much be GG. He won't be able to make any troops. Exactly. Instead of attacking and that he, idle gateway. Yeah, and he, he's not doing that right now. So. <laughs> There goes one pylon. Just get that other one, and that's it. Uh, so, wow. Uh, pretty exciting first game. I think that's going to be it. They're taking out the pylon, and I don't know what else he can possibly do. Yeah. Um, wow. Well, that was that was a pretty big turnaround. I, yeah. I definitely <laughs> had my faith in Vapor. Uh, he was getting that expansion. He had his army out here. Um, he was pushing forward, but I don't know. Yeah. Although, wow. Th those hydras are just monster, man. <laughs> Um, they are. I feel like that I was mean, the big do turning point. If they had just been pure Roach Ling, I don't, I don't think it would have gone that way. But those Hydras were a great tech switch. Exactly. And, uh, you know, we were just talking uh, earlier how these Hydras really are kind of like a glass cannon. He really did a good job using um, using the Roaches to take damage and, and Hydralis to do the damage. And, Absolutely. you know, because with only 80 life, they just will go down so quickly. Yep. And uh, I guess... Uh, I guess well, Vapor like, went and got a Mountain Dew again. Uh, <laughs> this is <laughs> this is kind of how these go. So we'll just watch this till the end. Um, but uh, I'm excited to see what the second map is and uh, see how that goes. Yep. Vapor and um, and Axel are are both known for not giving up until all their units <laughs> all their units and buildings are destroyed. So there it is. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. All right, well, guys, that was the first game of the second series between Vapor and Axel playing for the semifinals. So we'll come at you again here with the second game in the series. But thanks for watching. This is an album cover. And I'm Mr. Popo. See you on the next game.